Welcome back to Back to the Basics. We are talking syslog. And uh, hey, we're going to do a general overview of what syslog is. We're going to talk about text-based logging in detail. That is syslog. And what, what it means to have it searchable, actionable, all that stuff. Let's go! Hey, welcome back. We're talking syslog. First off, let me give you a little brief overview of syslog. So it's it's typically used by networking devices or servers, things like that, to send logging data to a centralized place. It uses UDP port 514, typically by default. You can change that. Um, and so it just sends it out uh, on the wire. And, and back in the day, you're trying to be super sneaky. You would send it out to a broadcast address and have a device passively listening, your syslog server passively listening on the network to capture those that syslog traffic. So if a hacker got in, they wouldn't know where your syslog server was. Outside of that, you take a network device, you point it to an IP address, it sends the traffic over to it. Uh, anything from who logged in, configuration change, uh, temp temperature sensor failed, power supply failed, PRI down, T1 down, Ethernet down, anything you want, you can send through syslog. From server perspective, it does things like server logs, stuff like that. It's really important in any uh, logging solution, well, syslog is text-based, so it's gonna be sending text-based alerts. What it's gonna do is anything from servers to network gear is gonna send these text-based logs to a centralized server. Based on that, you want your syslog server to be searchable and even better, actionable. So what does that mean? Well, if like, let's say for example, we're having something like a BGP flapping uh, connection. I wanna be able to create something that says, hey, look for BGP, maybe this specific airstream, and when it happens, I want you to send me an alert or an email or uh, send me an SMS message because I, I'm really trying to track this problem down. That's the beauty of syslog. If it's, if it's actionable, you can do certain things. Maybe there's a, a certain syslog event like, hey, these four devices, if anybody makes a config change on them, they're critical to the network. I need to know about it because I want to make sure that we've got like a change request filed or something like that. If it's actionable, you can do that. You could say, hey, if configuration change happens on these four devices, I want you to send me an SMS mes message. And regardless of where you're at, boom, your text message comes up. You're like, oh, who's changing my stuff, man? You can go in there and check it out. So the other thing is searchable. Something happens on the environment, like the devi a device goes down, a, a firewall fails, or your voice gateway starts, uh, you can't make calls. You wanna be able to go back in time and see what happens, that's great. That's what Syslog does best. So you can search it, go search for that device, search for a PRI issue, and then you can see the history in real time what it is. Why is Syslog so important? A lot of times if a device, for example, reboots, all of the logging information is gone. So sometimes the, that's stored in, in something called non-volatile RAM and uh, it, it will basically go away after the device reboots. So what sys a syslog server does is ensures that as those, those issues are happening or as those logs are coming in, they're getting sent off to a server where it's archived and you can come back to that data and see it. That's why syslog is in our tool belt of networking, network management. If there's anything I said in here that you're like, hey, give me more, give me more, just let us know, send us a smoke signal, tweet, tweet us, uh, Instagram us, email our marketing people. They will love to have me come in here and make a video for you, and I wanna do it. Hey, if you like this video, like, subscribe, do all that stuff that YouTube does, all that stuff, and uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.